Hi, this is Frank Ippolito. Today we're going to show you a few samples of a couple of the bloods that you can get at local makeup stores. Some stuff you can get at Halloween stores, all the way to more expensive European brands. When we look at the bloods, I'm going to put a little bit on a piece of white paper and then I'm going to smear it. What I'm going to look for is what the colors look like when they're thin and what they look like when they're thick. What color the reds are, whether it shifts orange or yellow or brown or pink or magenta. So those are the things that you can be looking out for. So let's get started. Let's go down through the line of some of the stuff we have. Probably the most easiest to find and readily available is this stuff. It's at most Halloween stores and all those little stores that pop up everywhere. This will be there. And uh, it's actually not that horrible. It stains a little bit though. My favorite domestic brand is this company My Blood. They make a bunch of different colors. This one is the Three Kings Red. This one is their standard red. And this one's their HD red. And this is their HD red mouth blood. They're pretty awesome. A guy named Jim makes these, these bloods. And there's a good variety of colors, good variety of consistencies. There's flow bloods, mouth bloods, thick blood pastes. So they're pretty rad. Another awesome domestic brand is Fleet Street, which is put out by Premier Products. There's a light and a dark, or fresh and a dark. And I like them both. A lot of times I'll mix the two and I think that's more of my favorite color than one versus the other. Over in the UK, Nick Dudman makes a pretty awesome blood. It's a great color, good consistency. My favorite brand over in the UK is a company called Makeup. And there's Bloody Real Blood, Dried Blood Quick Dry, Bloody, bloody Runny Gloopy Blood. This is the dark and then this is bloody runny gloopy blood light, dried blood light, bloody mouth blood, and there's also bloody sugary blood which is their mouth blood. Because these are from the UK, this and the Nick Dudman, they're usually a little bit more expensive than the stuff we can get over here domestically, but I love them a lot. Uh, a guy named David Stoneman makes these. He's rad. There's a couple of blood pastes that are out there. Here's some blood gels from Makeup. This is uh, a dark clotted blood and then this is bloody super stringy blood, which is really fun to play with. Makeup also has blood gels. So this is the Three Kings and this is the dark red gel blood. As you can see, all of these containers are very well loved with, with blood. Um, it's really hard to keep anything in your blood kit uh, not red. So I have a completely separate kit than my makeup kit when it comes to bloods. Here's another one from Makeup. This is, uh, it's called a wound filler. It's kind, it looks kind of like dried scabs. Like got like kind of a um, like kind of a chalky consistency, and you can kind of fill wounds with it. I want to show you what I look for when I buy bloods or when I test out bloods, um, and kind of how I check them. So I'll start with with a blood that's pretty readily available. This bottle of blood from the uh, Halloween store. We'll take a little bit of this blood. Just kind of pour that in there. You kind of swipe that. That really doesn't look that bad, considering how cheap and readily available it is. Move up one to uh, the Ben Nye Stage Blood. That's considerably darker. That's kind of the colors that come out of it when it smears. So you see, compared to the Halloween store blood, this is very pink. Now if you were working with some sort of a lighting or an actor with skin tones or, or some alien or something that needed to have a blood that needed to be a little bit pinker for it to show, then that's, uh, that's where you would go with that. So this is uh, the standard red from My Blood, which is the brand. It's not My Blood. It's called My Blood. Pour a little bit of that out. Give it a little swipe. Now that's considerably redder than this. Not as brown as that, um, but it's still a good blood. So here is the My Blood Three Kings blood. Considerably darker than the My Blood Standard Red. So we'll give that a little swipe. See how that's way browner. It's got a lot of, a lot of 
blues and purples and a lot more yellows in it. It's a really good color. This is a great color if you want bloods to look very like visceral and kind of gross and stuff. That, that brownish, brickish color um, really reads well on camera. The next one is the My Blood HD Red. Pour a little bit out. Give it a little swipe. So you see the difference between the three kings and the HD and the standard. Just those three bloods, same brand, have a huge range of difference. The name of, the name of this blood in the brand is called an HD red. I believe that it's probably just corrected a little bit better to be picked up with HD sensors. Um, as camera technology advances, sensors get closer and closer to what things really look like, where back in the 70s you can get away with a lot because film stocks were so all over the place. And as film stocks got better, by the time you got to like the peak of it where it was really reading colors very true, um, the, the bloods and the materials had to get better. And same thing with digital technology. As things got to better and better HD sensors, I think they're just picking up colors a lot more true. And I think that this HD red works really, really well. And we'll try the, uh, the Fleet Street Fresh Blood. Give that one a little swipe. Now see, that is very much closer to how that Methacel blood was when I very first made it. Remember I said it was, it was much brighter, much more vibrant. I think that's a very good blood color. Blood has a lot of these irons in it, which ends up reading very yellow. And here is the Fleet Street Dark. And that one is a lot closer to this HD red. So you have a very fresh and a very dark blood, which is great. And I said before that I like to mix the two, and that's kind of where I like them. So somewhere here in the middle is where I want what I like. These are all of our domestically available bloods that I happen to have sitting here today. There's probably easily 50 brands with 10 different colors in each brand. So there's a lot of different options. These just happen to be what I had sitting in my kit. So now I'll check out some of these London bloods. So this is the uh, Nick Dudman Standard Washable. Give it a little swipe. I think that's a great color. Look at how good that looks. Um, I think it's very similar to what the blood color feels like when I mix the Fleet Street light and dark. Okay, here's one from makeup. Bloody Real HD Blood. I think that looks like a lot like the, uh, the Fleet Street light color blood. Um, beads up a little bit funny. Um, so I guess you would have to be careful with that, but it's, uh, I think it's a great color. Mm. Um, so the makeup bloody mouth blood, let's see if the color is very much different between the regular HD red and the mouth blood. Now you can see that mouth blood has, um, has a really great color as well. I think that's awesome. Um, it's a lot more runny, as you can see how it works when I swipe it, but it looks good. There you go. Here's a dried blood light. Let's see what that looks like. This is also from Makeup. I think that's, that's uh, a really nice color. That's a little bit darker than, um, than these two other from Makeup, but I think that's great. And then I think there's a dried blood dark. Here you go. Here's dried blood dark. Not a whole lot of difference between light and dark dried blood. But I think they're really great colors. And this is bloody, runny, gloopy blood dark. Let's see if that one's any darker. It's definitely gloopy. Ah, oh, there you go, now we're darker. This one being so uh, gloopy thick. I think it's it's really nice to use if you're going to um, want to put it somewhere and it'll stay. If it's like in a, a wound that's 
you know, coagulating or something like that. Or if you need to like smear it on something, you just want to put it there. You don't want to have something running and dripping all over the place. Um, so that's a good reason to have uh, thicker bloods like that, just like the, uh, the gel bloods. So you can see these bloods all are in a really great kind of range. And as these are starting to dry up a little bit, you see how these colors are turning very yellow, um, brownish yellow. This is really, really, really good. And this is a thing that I look for in bloods because there's a lot of iron in your blood. Um, and having this yellow stage is really great. If we compare that to how some of these other um, bloods were, see how these things are reading pinker? This was the uh, standard red from my blood, and this was the Ben Nye stage blood. They read very pink. Um, you get into the Three Kings or the HD red, they don't do that so much anymore. And then you get over the Fleet Streets, see how this one's very, it's, it's got a yellowish to it. This is very orange, where this is a brownish orange. It's more of an iron. This is kind of orangey. But it's still good. Mix the two, and I'm sure that it's, it's great. So this kind of gives you a good range of what the, uh, what, what the bloods are that are readily available. And um, some of the things that I look for when I pick out bloods.